As the Bills touched down at the airport late Saturday night, they're met with a celebration. Spirits are high, even after a season-ending loss in Houston. Can't win them all, um, but we can learn from this and, and try to use it for the better. And um, the guys that we have in this locker room, I've got no doubt that's what we'll do. Players came together one last time on Sunday to clear out their lockers. Is these first few weeks just take a step back, be, be thankful for these group of guys, this team. After Saturday's loss, it's goodbye for now from One Bills Drive, but this team still has a lot of positivity moving forward. I mean, there's a lot of good people to build this franchise around, and I'm excited to watch. Players are also reminiscing about good memories from this season. Driving into that first home game for Cincinnati. We went with the one on Thanksgiving Day against the, the Cowboys. Yeah, probably the Cowboys game. It was a big game. And thanking the Bills Mafia for cheering them on every step of the way. Part of me wanted to go and give each one of them a hug just for coming out and supporting us. You know, we got the best fans in the world. It makes coming to work fun. It makes you feel like you're part of something special. This is the most fun I had playing football in a long time. It's definitely had to do with the Bills Mafia and how loud and how crazy they are and uh, I appreciate them. Until next season, Let's go, in Orchard Park, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.